Behaviors that destroy relationships. Great relationships are hard to come by because it takes a lot of effort to maintain one. It is not magic really. Relationships require commitment. People who want to have relationships with others invest their time and sometimes their resources. They are also patient and kind to one another. Are you in any relationship at the moment? Some behaviors can strengthen the relationship you already have with someone. If you are caring and understanding, you will fare better with people than when you are selfish, inconsiderate, and mean to people. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you four behaviors that destroy relationships. If you are new here, consider subscribing, share our videos with your friends, and click on the notification button. That's that little bell icon. That way when we make new content, you always get to know. And of course, do feel free to comment. Number one, always putting yourself first. One of the fastest ways to destroy your relationship is to always think of yourself and never the other person. A person who always thinks of only herself or himself is very selfish. Selfish people are not interested in the value that they can add to others. They are only interested in what value they can get from you. A selfish person thinks of opportunities for only themselves and seldom for their partners. They can quarrel with you simply because you do not agree to do things their way. Selfish people are not fun to be with. They want to watch their favorite TV shows, play their favorite video games, and go to their favorite restaurants. They are constantly trying to change other people to suit their own needs. Such friends, lovers, or associates are not worth your time. Number 2 Poor communication. People in a relationship should communicate often. Having a habit of not calling or texting back is not going to help your relationship. When you feel something, it is a good idea to share it with your friends. Not telling them can sometimes make you feel like they're oblivious to your challenges. This can make you subconsciously start lashing out at them for being so clueless. You have to be realistic. They are not mind readers. It is helpful to know that no one is telepathic. See, I told you. Your partner or friends cannot read your mind to know how you are feeling. If they hurt you, don't assume that they should know. What might hurt you may be completely harmless to someone else. Stop talking to people in your head. They really can't hear you. When you don't communicate your grievances, they don't go away. They just pile up. One day, you can end up exploding over something that your friend or partner has no idea about. And in most times, your friend or partner would not even think it's a big deal. If you don't like how he or she spoke to you on the phone, tell them. If you don't like how he or she didn't return your novel as agreed, let the person know. Expressing yourself often can help to stay connected to the person that you are in a relationship with. It also gives your friends a sense of peace because there are no surprises. No hidden grievances that they should be worried about. Number 3. Being overly secretive. Having secrets is not bad. We all do. But being too secretive can brood distrust. If your partner or friends don't trust you, the relationship is already half over. 
According to Scientific America, secrecy is associated with lower well-being, worse health and less satisfying relationships. You're better off without the secrets anyways. If you can share it with someone, do so. A secret shared presents less burden on the person holding it. However, if you can't tell someone, write it in your journal. Because sometimes, writing can serve as therapy. But do make sure to, you know, keep the journal in a safe or something. Number 4. Lying about everything. People value honesty a lot. You may not be everyone's favorite, but they will respect you a lot more if you're very honest. It takes more courage to tell the truth than it takes to tell lies. Don't lie to your partner. The problem with lying is that it makes you uncomfortable. You're always wondering if you're going to be found out. And in most cases, you can't keep up with the lie. Eventually, you're going to slip up. When your friends find out that you've lied to them, they'll wonder if you valued them enough to trust them with the truth. Doing this all the time is going to damage your relationship. Imagine being lied to. It would make you feel like your friend, whom you valued with so much integrity and respect, tried to play on your intelligence. So, if you would not enjoy being lied to, don't lie to others. Number 5. Being Manipulative Manipulative people are also selfish. All they want is their way. They use whatever means necessary to get what they want. Manipulation is a very bad way to deal with people. When people find out what you did to them, this can destroy the relationship with them almost instantly. These behaviors can destroy relationships that you have spent many years building. What's the point of building relationships if you don't want them? If you have any of these habits, ditch them if you value your relationships. A little added bonus here. If you have the habit of always keeping things in your heart, even when it's supposedly buried under the hatch, it's not a very good habit. This can destroy the relationship. After all, if something has been settled, why hold on to it? In my opinion and personal experience, it's very, very, very bad, unwanted and very disgusting. This has been 5 habits that could possibly destroy your relationships. If you enjoy our videos, do consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. See you next time.